Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back to, oops, my camera looks crooked. Oh, it's this. Creating a uh, two-dimensional art dial. I'm making this plaque. I don't, I forget what it's called, a cradle board, right? And I've already, in the previous video, I did the head, and I'm going to do the crown and the wings. But here's what I want to decide right now. I... I have this piece, I want to show you this, so this piece is created with all black clay. I think there's a little purple, hold on, let me see, I think I saw purple in here somewhere. But for the most part, you can see the black is what's shining through on, from the stamping, right? So that gives it a consistent look, like it looks very, I don't think I do see a purple, I thought I did. I gotta stop touching. This is Sculpey and it's really soft and I gotta stop touching it because I'm just making it softer. Anyway, I love how I I got this look just using different metallic. Here, this is the only purple tile. This is purple, but it fit in there because I used purple um, mica powder. Anyway, what I'm trying to decide now on this piece is to keep the background looking consistent. I wanted to use pink clay, so I have a couple different colors. I have this fuchsia, it's called magenta pearl. This is blush, and so here, here's the, and then this is a, a Sculpey color, which is the lightest color, it's called dusty rose. So here's the blush, and here's the fuchsia. Now, I don't know if that's going to be... Here's what I'm thinking. If I change all these colors, then just keep it consistent with the gold mica powders, I think that's going to be, it's going to look okay. It'll, it won't look, see when you do um, even a, um, an art journal page or whatever, you want to be, have the colors consistent. You can't just go do the rainbow. It's going to be too much for your eye. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is go with this light color for the crown. So I'm going to put a crown, this is my head, and then the wings are going to be probably down here. And I think I'm going to do a heart in the center, but I haven't decided that yet. So this video is more for um, me to just create a background for these, and I'll show you how I'm going to make the wings look. Um, and I mean, I could make it rounded or I could make it um Lori Lori Micah is who I'm inspired to do this this is her style um she uses these bits of banner and here this is I have a piece that I can show you that I'm debating so let me set this aside I'm just working on a 12 by 12 tile but this is another piece that I did a la Lori Micah so it has this piece here, which I love. And then I put a medallion on top of it. I made these other little pieces. So you can make one basically with just long pieces and then embed um, pieces of jewelry, little um, Swarovski crystals or uh, what else do I use? Beads, seed beads, okay? So that's what I'm thinking. And it would look really cool, right? Like. It would, but so would a scallop or um, like I had this piece. This is a, um, I think I have one that's already, yeah, let me look, see, I have this. All right, so this is something I already made. Let's put the crown on top of it. Where's the crown? Oh. Now, is that distracting? I think it's distracting. It's the same shape. But if it was pink, hmm, I think it could be cool. Let's try it. We can try it. The only thing is I probably won't be able to lay it across here. Um, and then on the bottom, see, I kind of like it. I think I'm going to go with it. And then next time I'll tweak it, you know? All right, so this is the shape I want to go with. Do I have enough? I'm going to... Put this through and then I could see I had this is what I was going to show you this I have this piece so you could do anything you know I mean it could just be something like that now I don't like that as much all right 
I think I'm going to go with that kind of crown looking pointy part. So I'm going to just put this through a couple times. And this is on about a middle, I think I'm around a five or a four. We're going to give this some texture. Let me move my wings out of the way so I don't mush them. Um, move my mica powders. And we're going to use, I used this tooled leather on the other piece. And it's so gorge. Um, but do I want to change it up? Maybe a more intricate, like I actually really love, this is a Tim Holtz, but this piece is a, ah, aha. I'm going to see what this looks like. But it, what I was going to say is it's um, breast cancer awareness. Sorry, my words wouldn't come out. I'm going to try this one. Just going to try it. And then, I mean, I can always put it through the pasta machine or do a take two. <laughs> So it seems like it's going to be wide enough. Um, let's see. And in, yes, in, re in reference to this, so let, let me just go ahead. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand up, but this is Sculpey clay. Give it some good pressure. And this is not a stamp that's made for clay. It is made for paper. So I don't know if it's going to get a, as good of a... Um, I pushed much harder over here and I don't like that. I'm going to I'm going to do it one more time. I'm just going to put this through the pasta machine again. And just I'm going to try and do more even pressure. Don't know how to do that without I mean, my palm is down here so obviously that probably has a little more force. That's good. I like it. All right. So the next thing you always want to, um, to remove the clay from the tile, use your blade and kind of make sure. Okay. Then you can move it to another tile. But what I want to do is also I want to measure, yeah, I think this is going to be perfect. Wow, okay. It's a happy accident. I'm going to cut out the shape first. What I was measuring was to see if the, the head tile is going to be around the same size and it's going to be a little interesting for me to cut this let me see I just want to make sure it's a tiny bit I'm going to leave it I think it'll be fine now for me to make the points I think I want to take off some of it. I think it's too tall. And this is all just personal preference. This is not set in stone in any way, shape, or fashion. It's just what my eye is telling me to do. Um, because I think, you know what, I could probably do a better job of stamping this too. I really like this. This isn't as deep as I'd like. All right, so I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to re-stamp it, and then I'll come back because I just don't want to waste the time. All right, for whatever reason, I still couldn't get it to be uh, as um, engraved kind of in the middle. I'm going to flip it. No one can tell that the words are going to be upside down, but I'll, I'll put the crown on this piece. And this is metal, so it can get baked. I'm going to put it, should I put it right to the bottom? I kind of want to. I think I want to put it right to the bottom. Yep, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to press and give it some, oops, kind of <laughs> warped it a little. 
I forget this is Sculpey. Sculpey is so soft. It's okay. I'm going to cut along the bottom. Shape that up a little. And I'm also going to create holes or make <clears throat> holes where the brads are going to go. This came with two brads and I think I'm going to use them. A pink heart I really love and there's like just a jewel. So when it's baked I'll put these through and if I have to cut them I'll just cut them but I'm going to put a hole. and a hole. All right. And that should be good. Now, this is the tricky part too. Do I want to um leave it as tall as it is or just make short ones? I think I'm going to go halfway. I don't I didn't like it that tall. And so you're going to go, you're going to equally space and I can probably take it down. Yeah, I think I'm going to go. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm going to zoom in. So I am going to make a little mark with this. I'm going to come down kind of right above and I hope that looks good I think it is going to look good they're going to be kind of tall maybe I'll take a smidge off again just a smidge not a smidge all right and you know what else I want to do is put it on a smaller tile because it's just easier for me to maneuver it and if this comes off during baking I can glue it back on I think I will I think I'll leave it on bake it and then um, glue it just so it definitely stays permanent um, it's a little wonky I can see that this is not even I think I just made it uneven the other way now. All right, forget it. I'm going to take my, this is just an X-Acto knife, and I'm going to go from that little dot to the corner, and this little dot to the corner, and then from that dot Hopefully it looks okay. I think it looks good. It's wonky, and so is my other one. My original one was wonky, too. But I think I like it. Um, let me... We're going to take some mica powders. Just going to use the gold at the moment. And see what that looks like. I think I might use the brush and really go in on this too. Um, using your finger is just going to, the powder is just going to adhere to the raised surfaces. But when I use a brush, I can get down in there and really color it better. So I'm pushing a little hard because I do want it to be, but I like that. Now I'm going to take my brush. I have just, just a little, it's probably like a number three round. And this is what I did on the face. This is called copper and it's Pearl X powders. And it's a different color than, although I want to say this is copper, pearl, pearl perfect pearls. But this is darker, and I'm going to do what I would do if I were creating an art journal page, and I'm going to float, but not really. I'm just going to shade up against the crown with this darker color so that it kind of makes it pop, I hope. That's my 
intention to do. So we're just going to come in and put some color, some darker color up against the crown to create a shadow effect. And keep the edges of that pink clay bright. And then I'm going to put them next to each other, the head and the crown, and see what I came up with. See if I like it. Because in the other videos I was saying, or the other video, I've been working on this all week. I mean, it's only Tuesday, but Sunday, yesterday, and today I've been doing this. And obviously there's been no video up because I did not like what was going on. But I'm getting there. I'm figuring it out. And I think I like where it's where it's headed. So let's see if that gave. I like it. I'm gonna. I want to go a little brighter with the gold too. I'm gonna use the brush and kind of get in some of the nooks and crannies on the edge with this. clay color to show obviously because it's part of the design as well but I think just brightening up the edges is a good idea maybe my finger does a better job all right now this got moved over to or well this clay is so soft, whatever. I can't, I can't, I can't maneuver it too much. But I like it. I think I'm getting the desired effect. Okay, so here is my head, and that is my crown. Now, in the previous video I said that I may I wanted to wait to see if I was gonna need to cut anything because I left this little bit of color there um, to see if I wanted to butt this kind of sort of okay so let's place it They're not baked yet. I gotta bake these still. I'm gonna bake it. But I'm also thinking of adding. So should I cut that? I think I am gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it a tiny bit. And we're gonna work on the wings next. But there is one more thing that I'm thinking of doing um, with this head. I found these, um, these kind of look like rose gold to me. Let's see what it says. Premium Japanese glass seed beads 11 slash zero, but it, I guess it doesn't have a color. Hobby and craft item. Nothing that I can see. So I'm gonna put out a few of these and I think they're kind of small. But I think I'd like to embed these around her face on the silver because I have this key and it says hope and I think this is going to be what I use for my centerpiece. So I don't know. I also was thinking I really like this but it's kind of dark and I really like there's another here, this, kind of for a collar piece. I would embed that in clay, kind of like it like that. And then the wings, and then this may just be on her dress. So there's a lot to figure out. And when you're creating this, you're going to use what you have in your stash um, and what you like. So like I have this butterfly. I have these little wings. These would be cute as like a little scent, like a collar or something, you know. 
um, whatever you have. See, I have this little heart. I have these little hamps. This is a hamsa hand. So I'll probably just make tiles with these. This little eye. I have a little um, cross. This is just a gold cross. This is like more of a, I don't know, it's like a more antique looking cross. I have just this bling. So there's so much. Like I could just glue that to that too. I mean, or, ah, oh, you know what? I have this other really cool, sorry. I get, I get off point, but see, this is all things to consider. This is one of those like, it was a bobby pin that I got at um, Michael's at, at one point. I think that would look kind of cute on my crown. So I have a lot to consider, you know. Um, we'll see. I, I might, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Because I also have these other, like this is a, um, a button. Can you see that? not sure but so this is how oh okay wait a minute it's a gold heart i have lots of buttons i also have these these are actually um they're not buttons they're just flat backs this is a little big too big but that could definitely be a tile all right sorry i digress there a minute <laughs> all right so what i want to do what i was going to do is get these out of the way Put them back in here and I want to see if embedding these and I'm going to go in closer but I really like the color these this color here so I'm going to get a toothpick and I'm hoping to just embed I think I want to do it um, I'm gonna move a few things, hold on. I wanna move that, I wanna move this out of the way for a minute. And then just have these to the side. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna pick these up with the point of my toothpick. They're too small. I could just put them all over the headdress. But I don't want to mess her up. I, I really love how she turned out, but I think I am going to... I don't know if they're going to stay because... I go silent. I go silent. But I am pressing hard enough to kind of embed this in the clay. And I don't know, I might be messing up the whole thing. I don't know. Oopsie. And because there's mica powder there, I think I'm going to use some liquid pearls. I have this. Mary Allen gave me it. Notice I haven't used it. Let's see if it comes out. Because it might not even um, come out. Oh, there's a thingy on here. <laughs> It'd be a lot harder for it to come out if I left that on. You gonna take her, Matt? I'm getting, <gasps> getting changed. I'm gonna take that little bit. Okay. Wow, I eat that whole bowl and full as hell. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go. That's gonna make it easier too. There was a blockage. All right, but you know what? I definitely want to put this. Ooh. I don't know. I've never done it before, but I think I hope that was a good idea. Where's my other? Here we go. I don't know because it it might make it um dimensional it might dry like I'm gonna just leave it like that these are too small 
I think it would have given a better effect if they were like another couple gauge or whatever they call it. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm going to get my head in the way a second. So I'm just using the back of this to kind of pick up some of it because I don't want it to be too thick and I'm just hoping that it's enough because I'm pressing it into the clay but it's not going to be the effect that I'd hoped because oh just because of the size of them they're I love the color but you know what it might it's showing up it might end up being perfect perfect Sorry, is my head in the way? Probably. But this way I, I don't have to press it as deep into the clay, but that doesn't stop me because I'm just, I push hard. I'm very rough. But I think I am getting the desired effect. Yeah, I think I can see it. That little halo of sparkle. So I'm going to I don't generally use any adhesive when I do polymer clay. I just let it stick to itself and I've had fairly good results. So, um, But in this case, it would stink if a bunch of them just fell out. Um, I kind of want to pop these out. <laughs> and put the medium or the liquid in there. Um, so yeah, if you're doing this at home, I have, I like to share my mistakes, but I don't like to make mistakes. I like to know what I'm doing beforehand so that it, I can prevent you guys But, it's not that big a deal, I guess. I don't know. Just really try to be light. Can you see what I'm doing? If you press lightly, you'll get a lighter amount of glue. Actually, it's liquid clay. So... But I'm glad. I mean, I, I think I like it. I think it's going to show up. I mean, I could do this all over her shroud, right? But wouldn't that take a lot of work? And, you know, I don't know. It's just my back feels okay today. I haven't done anything, any type of exercise. So I'm just sitting, but... Um, I'll probably go stretch. I have sciatica and um, I haven't been feeling like sitting in here. I'm kind of in the old holes now, so they're just falling in wherever they were. I see it though. I definitely see it. I wish they were a bit bigger. I think, but I think I got I got a decent effect. And when the clay is baked, I think it's going to look good. I could put something Nope, I'm not going to mess with her face. All right, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to bake these two, and I think that's going to look great. And then when this is baked, I'll put the either, I'm just going to put the brads through and do that, or I may put something like, I kind of like that, but I don't think it it looks, um, I mean, it kind of looks cute. Maybe with the heart on top? I don't know. We shall figure it out. All right. So 
So these can get baked. Yeah, I can totally see the beads. So, good. All right. All right, we're going to do the wings. So here's the wings. And like I said, I had, I have to put this away. Um, I had, I'll be right back. All right. I actually just went and put that in the oven because I'm just so curious to see what they're going to look like. But in the meantime, I'm going to create these wings. And I've done it with the mold. I've already done it. And my only thing about the molds are just make sure um, you get a clean print, which I was there's like a line here, but I'm going to use it. Uh, I'm going to put create little background frames for these and I used what did I use the light color the dark color maybe I'll use the medium value then right and then see I want to use this for the dress because it's um, primo see it's much stiffer I can't use this light color for the dress it's so soft um, so I'm gonna use this for the dress part so for the wings, we'll go with the dark color. So our head and the wings are the dark color. I'll do the light. I, I don't know how I decide on that stuff, guys. Listen, just use your instincts. Instinctually, I do it. Okay, so this is the Sculpey 3 blush or something like that. I want to make sure this is going to fit. Oh boy, maybe I need to use the dark color. I want it to show up, so I'm thinking this dark color might be better. This is so gorgeous. This is called Fuchsia Pearl. I got most of these accents. It's, it's Primo Accents at um, AC Moore. AC Moore had a really nice selection. Um, so I'm going to leave this here and then I'll condition this and I think this is just, the wings are just going to pop on this dark color though. I don't even know what I'm thinking. So. But I want to texturize the background and when you think of wings you might want swirlies like this was pretty cool I did like it what else do I have uh, I have this very intricate um should I do words will you be able to see the words definitely gonna do words eventually um, all right, I think I'm just going to go with this again. What do we just use this for? The crown? Now, watch the difference of pressure because this is um, Primo. Sorry, I'm in the shot, but I'm going to really give it good pressure. Because I have, this is Primo clay compared to the Sculpey 3. I just get one side looking better. That's fine. I think I'm going to use it. Let's take this off. Make sure it's big enough for this little guy. Yep. I like all that deep. It's kind of uneven. Definitely uneven. Look at the, you can't see I'm that zoomed in. Sorry. <laughs> I forget about you guys sometimes. Um, I don't think I could redo the stamping without, it's not going to look the same. Hmm. Just one side's going to be. It's 
color. Oh, so gorgeous. And I'm going to go close to it. I got to sit up a little, guys. So I hope I'm. And that's it. I don't think I'm going to do too much clay showing on the bottom. I'm going to try and do the other one in the same shape and fashion. And then we're going to use the mica powders to kind of create depth. But I think that's a good shape. And actually, it'd be nice if I had the other pieces. But, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with that. Put it on this little tile. I'm going to put this through the pasta machine again and do the same thing I just did. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got them both. I think they're looking pretty um, proportionate. And actually, they will go like that on the piece. So, I'm going to just make sure they're approximately the same size and shape. Uh, yeah, I like it. Make sure it's just adhered. I don't want to adhere it too much because what if I mess up? I like to be able to take it apart and, sorry, I have clay back there. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to use mica powders, again, the way I did... I've done a couple videos now, so I'm not sure if you saw me, but I'm pretty sure you did. I'm going to use this dark uh, copper color. It's just called copper. No, it's called antique copper. It's antique copper by, oops. <laughs> well, all right, that's one way to do it. By Pearl X powders. Pearl X, right? I'm going to use... Do I really want to use it? I think I really want a deep etched wing. I'm going to try these. Listen, you can always mush it up if it doesn't work. All right, let's just go for it. I'm going to use the brush again. Let me zoom in. And just go into the little um, nooks and crannies of the... feathers. I'll come, hopefully, I mean, I won't cover it with this. That's not my intention. I really just want it to be able to show some of the definition and then hopefully, because this is a pretty clay too, it's um, white pearl. So I don't want all the clay to be covered up. And actually, you know what, you could, I could have done this and I have one. I have a sample that you could just do this with antiquing, which is when you take paint here and cover it with paint and then wipe it away. So that might actually have been a better option for these because I do like how that looks, but I think I went back over this with either some um, pearlescent paint I don't know, but that's what I'm going for. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get that result with the mica powders, but that's what I was hoping to do because the whole piece is kind of, I've done mica powder techniques, so I'm kind of sticking to the same thing. If you just take the brush and stick it in there, in the nooks and crannies, so like here, I could go down and don't cover the whole feather. I always want to call feathers leaves. I was almost about to say a petal, but that looks cool. Am I in the shot? Yes, thank goodness. So I'm going to do a little bit up here. And some yeah I really didn't want to go over the entire wing so now I'm gonna take some white pearl perfect pearls 
and just rub over the parts that stick up. And that jazzed it up, didn't it? I like it. Let's see if it totally took away from the... I have to look at it from a different angle. It's not this, but I think you get the point. I think it's good. I like it. All right. So I'm also going to use this copper. It's called Antique Copper. And I'm going to go on the pink behind the wing as well in order to get it to look... Um, oops. I want it to stick down now. I don't want it to be... to fall off. Again, I could have used what? Um, the liquid pearls to put just behind it, but... I, or it's bacon bond or something, um, liquid pearls, liquid clay. But I just, I'm not in the habit of doing it and I forget. And then, but I've never had an issue really either. So that's why I'm just not in the habit of doing it. And I'm just shading behind it like I would if I were doing a mixed media project. I'm repeating myself today. But I'm happy because I was struggling for the last couple days. I haven't had a real successful thought about it. And this is good. I'm very happy with this. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. And I'll bake these. Um, and then I'm just going to continue building. But I think I'll come back after everything's um, baked and I can then put them on the board and we'll be able to see the real what it looks like in real life and start to figure out how I want to build from there too because I'm gonna I have a lot of um, filler tiles I'm calling them so tiles that aren't the focal point they're just gonna be in the background so to speak but I have a lot that I can make too or add to it so um, I may do a couple of those on camera but for the most part I've never done this type of um, theme like a an actual person in there like a little angel um, so I just wanted to make sure I got that so in case any of you guys were tr wanted to play along you could see where I'm going with it, which, you know, I'm just winging it. Just winging it, figuring it out as I go. I would love so much to take another class with Lori because I think I was able to take one with her at Bead Fest. I don't even know what year it was. I want to say it's at least five years, maybe even ten years ago, when her book first came out, I think, because um, we just did a... A mosaic that was just a bunch of different techniques it had no theme or um, real but now she does her work has just evolved so she does pieces that have more of a theme like you'll make a shrine or, or you'll make a triptych or you know a specific project that has um, a beginning middle and end type thing and I would like to take something like that to know what she's doing, her techniques. And um, all right, so now let's go with the white. I think it's good. I think this is good enough. I don't need to do more. I mean, you can definitely tell it's a wing. So. I'm satisfied with that. I don't think I have enough powder on my finger. You can go back and forth with this a million times, but I think I think I like it. I'm going to put some gold again on the pink. So I'm just going to take my finger and Catch these raised areas on this pink pearl clay. 
and that's going to create a bond between all of the tiles on the piece. So I, if I keep doing it this way, I think I'm going to have that cohesive feeling that I'm looking for. I might use the brush a little bit too to get in a little brightness on the edge. Um, because that's important. I don't know. I just wanted to play with the pink clay. I like color. I like, I mean, you could, like I showed that piece. I don't know if it was in this video or not. Sorry, guys. I've taped a lot today, but you could use all black clay and create everything out of black clay. Like this is black. Nope, it's white. I lied. Um, and then all the indents are going to come out. So all the behind work would be black. So I don't know, it would be a totally different look, but I really wanted to play with the pinks. And I like it. I think it looks cool. All right, so I'm gonna bake everything and I'll be back with another episode <laughs> of my polymer clay art doll. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.